I was out riding my bike the other day. For some reason, I decided to take a different path than I normally do. I ended up turning left instead of going right around the lake as usual. It led me to a bike path that has tunnels that go underneath East Washington Avenue. After coming out the other side, I saw three people. One of them was on a ladder, and they were just finishing up what looked like a mural that said, You are beautiful on it. I kept going, and my first thought was, Oh, I'll have to look and see what that is when I get home. But that's exactly what I'm trying not to do anymore. So I stopped, turned around, and decided to go ask them what they were doing. I pulled up, and that's when I met Alora and Wendy. I did my undergrad here in Madison. I'm from a small town in the middle of Wisconsin. Lots Which one? Back. Princeton. We were Princeton in Wisconsin? We sure did. I didn't know that. <laughs> and what about you? Where are you from? I'm originally from Austin, but I moved here about six years ago. Okay. I took out my phone, I and I asked them if I could record this, yeah. this cool. because I'm starting a show about things just like this. Things happening in the art community in Madison. And here's what they had to tell me about this mural that you may have seen on East Wash. We're part of the Art Right Collective. We painted this with uh, queer and trans teens in Madison. The whole project actually started out because Wendy brought the idea to us a couple of years ago. There is a, I guess it's a national, international movement now mm -hmm. with um, the You Are Beautiful stickers and public art projects that are popping up in cities all around the country and the world and they all kind of have their own little spin to them and since the RA Collective really works with LGBT community in Madison we decided that ours would be about about that community and that experience. There was there was a an artist that lived here and he went to East High School and later moved up to Chicago to pursue art out there and his parents actually still live here and they were like huge supporters of this but he he would belong to an artist collective in Chicago and they were doing they did a few you are beautiful signs here and there around the city okay. and he was killed while he lived there you might still see some of his stencils he went by solve and there's some stencils like throughout town I think you know people like his family still prints them up and people still stick them and go over the old stencils and stuff. One of the guys in his art collective, I think kind of ran with the idea and turned it into this whole like beautiful phenomenon project. There are, <clears throat> so he started off with like these stickers and I like their oh, metallic, cool. so they like reflect you, you can take one. Thank you. Um, and that on the back of that, you can look up the rest of the history. Nice. And so I guess for us it's interesting to be a part of a project that really has roots in the east side of Madison yeah. and we yeah. didn't have a mural from that project on the east side of Madison. We're grateful that Art In was willing to work with us. What we're really excited about in working with the group that we were working with is that we're going to continue working with youth to create public art. Yeah. Um, and so actually you mentioned the Arts and Literature Laboratory. We're partnering with Art Lit Lab starting in January to offer youth programming throughout their semester for middle schools and high oh. schoolers and writing visual art and community art practice. Cool. So we're using this as kind of a launch for continuing our youth programming. Starting next month, I'm going to be releasing a podcast about things just like this, Artists in Madison. It's called the American Bandito Podcast. The concept was this. I put up an ad on Facebook that said, are you an artist in Madison? I would like to talk to you. And that was it. There was no pre-screening. There was no, what kind of artists are you? People signed up and I scheduled an interview with them. I wanted to know about people that are making art, people that are starting, people that are trying to get back into it, or just people that do it. I just wanted to meet people. I wanted to get more involved. I know very little about the art community that's happening in my own town, and I wanted to change that. And starting in August, I'll be releasing those interviews on the website AmericanBandito.com. If you'd like to be notified when the episodes come out, sign up for the mailing list. 